has have you seen like a big drop in like allegiance and like loyalty to the company over time when you actually hire remotely and is that something that you as a company or like in general other people have done what have they done to like you know offset that if at all um i'd love to like know more about that yeah, great question. And it's definitely something we're working on as well. Our customers are working on. So haven't found the the, the kind of um, silver bullet or, or the, the one solution yet. But there are some things that, that we're starting to see that are helping. So one thing I would say is I, I absolutely think it's entirely possible to keep the same amount of allegiance, same amount of engagement um, where, wherever in the world uh, the, the person is working. Um, but but yes, there, there are other things you need to take into account. So I think technology can help in some ways. So using um, it, uh, it, technology to kind of measure employee engagement, um, you know, these pulse-based surveying um, another way. So I, I do think there are ways that we can use tech. It's not going to be solved by technology alone. I think one one thing that's important is spending time with employees to kind of understand their, their work styles and how, how they can be best engaged. So one, one thing we found in, in the remote world is we have folks that, um, you know, generally like written communication better, kind of finding new ways to engage that maybe in the um, in-person setting, sadly, in some corporate settings, it's the loudest voice that wins. But but now we're seeing more opportunities for people to express themselves. People are kind of put on on, on, on somewhat of a level playing field. But, but yeah, remote work can also create some disadvantages for folks. So I think it starts with employee listening, building that feedback mechanism, building platforms for and, and using technology um, for folks to, to engage. And then I, I think having just things that people can rely on. Um, so common practices and routine. Um, oftentimes when you're off on your own, uh, you know, there, it's, it, there's a, a lot, lot of uh, things that you can do during a day. But if you make a point to get together, um, so we were starting kind of a, a weekly uh kind of company hangout that we're kind of going to do in VR, but you can also join via Zoom. That's, you know, that water cooler conversation is hard to replicate in these formal Zoom meetings. Um, and, and then there's also things you can do on the benefit side to help get people engaged. I, I think really catering to the emotional needs that people might have, mm -hmm. um, the, the safety needs they might have in um, kind of now working in this different environment where they're, people used to come in person to have some of those psychological needs fulfilled. Um, but there are ways to to solve for that, certainly remotely. You just have to know about it before you can solve it. So starting with, with kind of talking to your employees. So that, that's a few things that we've seen. Um, and the last thing I'll say is, is some of the structural things like uh, the company mission, vision, values, career pathing. You, you have to be really, you know, it's not going to be on a wall where you can look at it. You, you, I, I think being very intentional in continuing to, you know, get those out there, whether via a wiki or in your one-on-one -on -one conversations, I, I do feel is, is um, another thing that is important.